So the law of sines, like the law of cosines, is a tool for solving or for finding sides and angles of oblique triangles. The law of cosines is a tool for when you have side angle side. So if you know that this is 10 and you know that this is 37 degrees, and if you know that this is 15, you could use the law of cosines to find other stuff. And it's used for side, side, side. When you have the sides of the triangle, and you want to get the angles. So what is the law of cosines? Well, let's say we have an angle, we'll call it gamma, and a side C and a side A, and a side B. The law of cosines is going to look kind of familiar to you because it starts out as the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus b squared, but then it's going to continue minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of gamma. So you can see how this could be used in this side angle side case, or if it's not obvious, it will hopefully be made clear by an example. Um, we can go ahead and use the numbers I wrote here, 10, 37, 15. And let's use that information to find this side C. Well, C squared is 10 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 10 times 15 times the cosine of 37 degrees, taking that right-hand side and plugging it into a calculator, here is C squared, so C is the square root of 85.409. 85.409. Again, go to a calculator. 
nine point two four two. So there's the law of cosines in action. Um, frequently, if you're trying to solve for a solve a triangle, you'll end up using both the law of cosines and the law of sides. So continuing with this triangle, here's what we know. If we then wanted to find this angle alpha, we could do it using the law of sines together with this 37 and this 9.242. The sine of alpha over 10. Just Love, we're serious about our coffee. We specialize in light roast coffees and have a wide range of single origin coffee. And then we'll end up using the inverse sign, but we won't run into issues that we saw in the previous section. That is to say, the inverse sign will give us the right answer. And we get about 40.6, uh, 40.63 degrees equals alpha. And we could then, if we wanted to call that beta, we could solve, well, no, I was going to say we could, um, then find beta the same way, but that that would be an enormous waste of time. The angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So once we know that this angle is 40.63, Let's see, 37 plus 40.63 plus, what did I call it, beta plus beta. And we have solved the triangle. All the sides, all the angles.